Hello everyone, welcome to April. We're excited now that the temperatures are getting warmer that it means the end of school and all the fun things that come along with that. But before I share with you a lot of good news and exciting events to come, I want to let everyone know that things have been going fantastically now that we're kind of in this world without masks. Uh, our student numbers and all of our staff numbers have stayed excellent. So we really are keeping ourselves uh, generally COVID free. So that's a really big celebration for the district is we feel like all the hard work we did to get us to this point has paid off. So great news on the health front here in Harvard. We're very fortunate in Harvard to have a lot of fantastic partnerships. And one of those great partnerships is with Bernie's Books. This uh, week, early in April, we were able to receive Bernie's Books deliveries to our all of our buildings, K through six. And that makes such a big difference to have family libraries stocked with new and viable books, to have family reading times with new things. We love our books, but sometimes it's nice to have some fresh blood. And Bernie's Books always comes through with that. So we wanna offer a big thank you to Bernie's Books. They're a great uh, or philanthropic group to support and we thank them for always being so good to Harvard. And speaking of post pandemic activities and our partnerships, we have a wonderful partnership that's just begun with our Starline factory here in Harvard. As we you remember from the pre pandemic days, we had a wonderful art show. We had a, a big combined art show at the library and we're resuming that activity, but we're partnering with the Starline factory. So we're excited to be able to put all of our student work in the exhibition, show off all of our work as a part of the fourth Friday's event they have. But starting now until April 29th, all of our student work will be in exhibit an exhibit in the star line so go buy that and see all of our great work there will be a reception you'll hear a little bit more about in a formal event to celebrate it but it is really special for us to be able to have in that fantastic venue all of our great student work that's been produced all this school year and of course it wouldn't be spring for our high school students without some of those special events prom will be held on april 23rd again at the Starline factory and we're glad that that'll be an in-person event and the students can have that remarkable step in their high school journey and it'll be followed by our senior honors assembly the following day sunday april 24th at 2 p.m that's all held in the small gym at the high school that's an important event for all of our seniors as we note all the scholarships and all the awards that's been given to all of our students for their hard work throughout their high school career and it's not too early to think about summer and all the activities that our district will have to offer our students. If you go to our website, www.cusd50.org backslash summer, you can see all the activities we have planned. We have athletic opportunities, we have reach, we have summer programs, summer school. There's a lot of things to sign up for that'll kind of enhance the uh, experiences of your kids, keeping them having fun and off the couch, maybe enjoying something uh, over the course of summer through the district opportunities. So take a look at that and sign up for those fun opportunities for your kids. One of the favorite things that I get to do is brag about our students and all the things they're doing in terms of student success. And we've had a lot of student success recently that I wanna share with you and celebrate. One of those things is the naming of two of our students, Caden Scott and Nathan Rosas, as IWCOA's academic all-state team. So not only are they dominant in the classroom, they're dominant on the mat. Congratulations to those two guys. We also are proud, uh, we have a, a brother combination, not only was uh, coach, head coach David Schultz, our Northwest Herald um, Coach of the Year in Wrestling, but his brother Adam Schultz was a finalist for the 1A Assistant Coach of the Year, which is also a thrill, they're really rolling. And the other thing that is nice uh, recognition is for our athletic director, Andrew Walters, who's a finalist for the 1A Athletic Director of the Year for all his support of the wrestling program. So that's that's all a part of that successful wrestling season. And by the way, listen to our podcast uh, where we interview Coach Schultz. That's on our website. You can hear all about that. Some great stories of all the things that went into that successful wrestling season. And finally, we don't want to forget uh, the incredible successes of Brenna Uplager, who finished third at the indoor state track meet in the long jump. Her 17 foot uh, jump was a indoor school record. She is shattering records, not only in some of her track meets, but also in the long jump. So Brenna, we're excited. Hopefully the weather can warm up and we can get out there and see you on the track. Keep going and congratulations to a lot of things going on with that girls track program. We're seeing a lot of records, personal records and school records go down. So keep it up and get out and support our student athletes any way you can in the spring. And also internally, the spring always is hiring season for us. And so one of the things you hear me say uh, quite a bit is that hashtag Harvard Rising includes the right people, getting excellent staff members. So if you go to our website, and it's uh, what I just said earlier, www.cusd50.org, hashtag careers, 
and it's a link there on the main site. You can see all the career opportunities we have from classroom positions, both licensed for our teaching staff, but also we have lunchroom associates, uh, student aides. Um, we also will have opportunities in the summer for students to come back and work in our maintenance crew. Uh, there are opportunities for them to work 40 hours a week and earn some summer uh, money for those going to college and maybe even some of those still in high school for a chance to contribute and help keep our grounds going well and all the summer renovations that happen in the district. It's a great opportunity for your students to earn a little side, uh, side cash. Thank you, everyone. I look forward to a great and exciting spring watching all the great things happening in our district.